do an up close look at the new release of um, Nouveau Aquaflow pens from Tonic. They launched on Hochanda, um, well it'll be a, a couple of days ago when this video goes up, but um, I'm just about to start on my samples and I thought I would do um, a video before I've, un before I've opened them so you can see what they look like when they come brand new to you. So they had, um, they originally had 12 colours and they had a set of two water brushes, a medium and a fine and they also had um, originally the glitter gloss pens now as well um, and they've recently brought out the new glitter pen which is called Midas Touch which has got a really gorgeous um, subtle gold glitter to it rather than the silvery glitter of the um, glitter gloss pens so it's, um, <clears throat> it's really great to have both of them in your stash for whatever you're doing sometimes you want a warmer look so the gold glitter would work really nicely so they originally brought out the 12 pens I think they were in um, palettes called spring summer autumn and winter um, and these are all the colors um, I can't remember exactly which ones were in what set but um, anyway, these are the new sets that they've brought out. Now this this year, um, in their Nouveau range, Tonic are bringing everything out in colour families so that everything works together. So they've brought out, um, originally they brought out the new Nouveau drops, then they brought out um, the glitters and confetti and um, the glitter accents and glimmer paste as well. Then uh, recently... They just brought out the new Craft Perfect um, collections in the same colour families and now they've brought out the Aquaflow pens. So you've got Arabian Nights, Ocean Air, Surprise Party and Festive Season which is the exactly the same um, categories that all the other ones fit into. Uh, for example, if I go... that's the other one... So um, these were the three surprise party Nouveau um, crystal drops and they work perfectly with the three colours in the surprise party uh, Nouveau Aquafly pens. Um, and same with the papers and with the glitters and the confettis and glimmer paste. Although um, there wasn't one for each category is glitter paste but there was glitter accents too so they they went with more of the categories as well but anyway um, and they will also be bringing out Nouveau embellishment moves later in the year too so anyway I thought I keep saying anyway um, I thought I would show you these brand new in their packaging as they come so if I do a little up close this is Arabian Nights you get French wine wild flocks cinnamon stick then in Ocean Air, you get Clear Water, Vanilla Sunday, and True Turquoise. Then Surprise Party, you get Mango Mimosa, Flamingo Pink, and Indigo Blue. And finally, for the festive season, you get Matador Red, Pressed Olive, and Baked Cherry. Um, yeah, so gorgeous colours. So I'm going to open all of these up and I will show you how to activate them and get them working. <clears throat> now those of you who get the um, Tonic Craft Kits, you actually got one pen out of the festive season set with the kit. I think it was a different pen in different kits. So they just split up a three pack and put one in, you know, one of each in a, in a kit. But I got um, Matador Red. So I'm going to leave out Matador Red. I'm going to give that one to my mum because it's a duplicate. Um, so I've already got Matador Red activated. So I thought I would go through and activate them all for you. So I'm just going to get a piece of card. Um, I'm going to start with Ocean Air. These are gorgeous, these colours. So let me <coughs> have the packaging again as well. So, um, when you get the pens, they have this uh, yellow piece right down the centre. So all you want to do is pull the lid and it comes straight off. 
um, and you can see the lovely fine nylon bristled brush then you literally just unscrew that, it's not done on very tightly because of the, the yellow piece in the way you take that away then you screw it back on and you hear a click I'm not sure if you really heard that but um, you can in real life um, and then you just want to, where it says, uh, well it says press on one side and it says nouveau on the other side, that's um, the barrel's a bit softer there so you just press lightly and you can start to see um, the ink has come down here whoop, shook it, <coughs> maybe you shouldn't shake it hmm, you're messing up Okay, don't shake it, then just start to scribble on your glass mat. You just want to get all of the bristles nice and wet so they become flexible because they've obviously got some kind of sizing in them to keep them as a nice point when they're dry. So there we go, perfect. Really, really, really easy to prime. And um, I store all of mine standing up. Um, I'm not certain of what the recommendation is. Uh, I don't think it says. But I always like to keep um, anything that could leak, I like to keep standing upright. Like all my alcohol markers I keep lying down because they've usually got two ends and you want the ink to flow to both ends but with water based ones I keep them standing upright so that they're if they are going to leak it's probably all just going to like pull around here they're not going to leak but if they did um, rather than if you did it up this way the whole lid might fill and it would spill over but anyway um, yeah so I just keep mine in a little pot like this on my desk um, yes, yeah, so sorry, this is the first colour, clear water. Oh, that's gorgeous. Lovely light blue colour. Zoom in. That's clear water. And then, we'll do the next one. And actually, I'm keeping all of these pieces. I kept them all from um, my last set when I opened them all. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but they kind of like fit together nicely. I'm thinking some kind of project putting them on. I'm not really sure yet, but I thought I might as well keep them. They don't take up much space. So screw that on. Squeeze gently, not too viciously. Drop stuff's come out. And just make sure the whole brush is nicely coated. Oh, that is lovely, that colour. That one's true turquoise. It really is true turquoise. Then, next one, vanilla sundae. Oh, that's lovely and pale. That's really nice. So that's your ocean air colours. That's almost like old parchment, that. That's lovely. Oh, they're going to be gorgeous to work with. Okay, next I am going to do... Arabian Nights. This is one of my favourites. The, um, the colour palette of these, especially the cardstock's my favourite. That's not the right one. French wine. There we go. Those three. So I'm going to go with the, the yellowy one first, which is called Mango Mimosa. Again, you just want to pull the lid off, unscrew that, take the yellow piece off, screw it back together, and then squeeze. And then where all the bristles they become nice and flexible you can tell when you've oh you can't even see what I'm doing you can tell um, when all the bristles are nice and wet with the ink because it feels a lot more flexible oh that is a lovely colour gorgeous 
Okay, then I'm going to do Wild Phlox. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Squeeze. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is my kind of a colour. Wow, that is lovely colour. And finally, French wine. Oh, that one is really nice too. That is a wine colour, that's gorgeous really like them. So that is your Arabian Nights colour palette. My camera doesn't pick up purple that nicely which is really annoying because it's my favourite colour but you can kind of see. Then next we will go with Surprise Party. Oops did I just pick the wrong colour? Ah, oh, I picked the wrong colour. The memos is not in the Arabian Nights. Oops. Oh dear. Let's do that. That's not in the Arabian Nights. The cinnamon stick is in the Arabian Nights. So I'll do cinnamon stick. Flamingo pink and indigo blue. So those are surprise party and that one. I've done the wrong. I did think that looked a bit bright compared to the packet. I should have read them. But... Okay. So this is Cinnamon Stick, which is Arabian Nights. Then just squeeze to activate and then moisten the bristles. That's more like a colour tone that goes with Arabian Nights. Okay, now it's surprise party. So this one is Flamingo Pink. And finally we have the Indigo, oh no, I was calling that Indigo Blue, so it's Indigo Batik. Can't read. Oh, that's a really lovely deep blue. That's nice. That's like a night sky colour. That's gorgeous. And then finally, we've got the festive season. I've already activated Matador Red because I got that mine in my craft kit. Then we've got Baked Cherry. Wow, that is really lovely and dark. And finally... We have the pressed olive. So, these are all the new colours, and I put them the wrong way around, but that's all of the new colours. Um, now I'm going to swatch out the old colours as well so you can so compare. I'll do them uh, yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, purple, put the green next to the yellow, so I'll do them in this order. Okay so these are the original colours. 
that one was Indigo Dawn. And what I really love about the Aquaflows, um, the colour name is on the barrel of the pen, but it's also on the lid of the pen. Because some other brands of, of pens like this, um, there's no indication of what the pen was from the lid. So then you're not quite sure which lid was which. But anyway, this one is Lilac Blossom. Then we've got Soft Rose. Then Red Apple. Then Spiced Ginger. Lemon Zest. That's a really lovely pale yellow. Uh, fresh Green. Evergreen Fern. Aqua Splash is one of my favourites. I've used a lot of this one. Um, Azure Blue. Rustic Oak. And finally, Obsidian Black. So this is the original colour palette and this is the new colour palette. So they're really nice colours that are going to go and mix in um, really nicely to the existing colours. And then you also have, um, well you can get the water brushes which you can use to water down the pigments and even drag out the colour and this is just on normal um, white cardstock so it's not even a watercolour cardstock but it still drags out the colour really really nicely so that's just uh, a water brush um, also by Tonic uh, but you can also get uh, the Midas Touch and the um, Glitter Gloss so this is um, more of a silvery glitter so I've still got some of the colours out here from when I primed them so I'm just going to pick up some of the colour to show how you can turn any of your colours sparkly just by picking them up with the the glitter gloss and then we've also got the Midas Touch so I'll use the same colour so you can see the difference well that does look really nice Okay. so I think I'm gonna just quickly dry that So on the right we've got the Midas Touch and on the left we've got the Glitter Gloss. You can see how lovely and subtle this one is, just a very subtle silvery clear glitter and then that gorgeous gold glitter from the Midas Touch. And you can um, mix it with any colour, you can put it on top. I love putting the um, clear glitter gloss on top of like Copic colouring and stuff. So I shouldn't really have picked pink because my camera doesn't pick it up nicely but anyway. You can see the difference between the glitters. So, yeah, that's just my up close look at the new colours of the um, Nouveau Aquaflow pens from Tonic um, and showing you the difference between the original colours and the new colours and also the original um, sparkle pen, the glitter gloss, and the new Midas Touch sparkle pen too. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and there'll be um, a few videos going up on Crafty Potential showing how I've used um, the new colours and some of the samples for the shows that have been on Hochanda too, so make sure to go and watch them as well. So thanks for watching, bye!